guys, welcome back to round two of the El Chapo build. So, where I left it before was I was going to be drilling the locator pins, um, but uh, a little change of plan now because I want to get this blade normalized, uh, ready for heat treat. And also, I've cut down the bolsters a little bit. These two slabs of bronze I was working on yesterday, I've cut those down a little now. They're a lot slimmer than they were. They were both sitting around 10. But um, it wasn't quite sitting right in my head. I wanted to thin things out, slim things out a little bit. And I think that will balance out quite nicely once everything's uh, shaped and sorted and pinned together. This is the blade so far. It's going to be a hidden tang design. And I had to get some special tooling in for this one, which is an end mill with a two mil radius on. And uh, what we're going to do is we are going to take down these shoulders here above the guard and these two shoulders here which will be going, obviously, the start of the tang. Now, you want a radius relief on this. You don't want a sharp 90 because, of course, that's a, that's a stress riser. That's a fracture point. So that's why I wanted to get in the 2 mil radius cutter. Beautiful. And what I've done is I've run a center line on the CAD all the way down. So what I should be able to do now is just set this in the vise, make sure that line is parallel with the top of the jaws, and then mill these out because this here, even though I've got a tapered tang here, this here is a straight shoulder to go through the, the bolster. So I'm going to line this up with the jaws, set that in, mill this, and then obviously I could just flip it round, do the same again, line it up with the jaws, get these, and these lines here will be parallel with each other and the center line of the overall blade. So let's jibber jabber more.
Go. We've got shoulders milled in now. All that radius relief, like I said, is all bang on. And I've just finished up cleaning up the machine marks to 600 grit on here and cleaning up the tank, putting a little bit of a chamfer on it. What I want to do now is I'm going to dip this because I want to make sure that the core is central to the outer layers. And then we're going to crack on with the bolster and the handguard but first. Let's hit that camera one more time and uh, give it a dip. There we go. And here we can see the core and that is that's looking pretty good so yeah I'm gonna call that happy I'm happy you can always tell when I'm happy you can hear it in my voice groovy just clean these up This is nice it's looking clean so like I say this will go in for normalizing obviously straighten out any warps on the way and then directly after that we'll work on the bolster and the guard 